I am making my video between classes to make sure I get it on in plenty of time for you tonight. So if you hear kids coming in, um, that may be you. All right, we're getting started with our video. And our first problem um, is going to be this one. And I need you to try it first. And then we're going to see if you can get the answer right. Okay, we're going to first have the three, the th and the three, those are bases. We're going to add the exponents, so that's three to the first power. On the fives, it's five to the eight, and five to the two, which is five to the ten. And that would be the end of that problem. You don't have to work anything out. And let's go on to number two. Number two, we have n's and m's. We're going to do the m's together. m to the first and m to the fourth is m to the fifth times n to the negative 4, but you can't have a negative exponent, so I'm going to move the n to the 4th on the bottom, and the final answer is m to the 5th over n to the 4th. Number 3, I have to add all these exponents together, so I have x to the 1st and x to the negative 1, well those cancel to 0, and then x to the negative 3 and x to the negative 4, which is x to the negative 7, you can't have any negative exponents, so it's just 1 over x to the 7th. This is number 4. We have to substitute a is negative 6 and b, I'm sorry, 8 is negative 2 and b is 6. So we have 8 times negative 2 to the negative 2 and 6 to the 0. 6 to the 0 is 1, so we have 8, and then the negative 2 to the negative 2 goes on the bottom, so that's 1 over negative 2 to the second, which is going to equal 8 times negative 2 to the second is 4, so that's 1 fourth. 8 times 1 fourth is 2. Next problem, number 5. There's nothing to plug in, so we're just going to work them out r to the 0 is 1, so I'm going to cross off the r to the 0. 2 is to the first power, so the 2 goes on the top. m is to the negative exponent, so the m to the third is going to go on the bottom. Number 6, we have r to the negative 3 on the top. It has to switch to the bottom. Since the 7 is already there and it's a positive exponent, it's going to stay at the bottom also. And then we have to fill in a 1 at the top. <clears throat> Anytime, Alex. All right, I have to have g to the fourth on the top because it's positive. The h to the negative six is on the bottom. Since it's negative on the bottom, it has to switch to the top, and so that's our final answer. Number seven. Uh-oh, I think I skipped number seven. Here's number eight. Three to the fourth to the fifth would be three to the twentieth, and you don't have to work it out. Number nine, I have to work out this first part, and so that's a to the twelfth. The second part is going to be a to the sixth. Add the exponents together, and it's a to the eighteenth. Number ten, I have to square everything, so that's negative five to the second, t to the fourth. Negative five to the second is twenty-five, t to the fourth. Number 11. Hey, I'm doing the video for tonight. <laughs> have to everything to the fourth power, so that's x to the eighth, y to the twelfth. And then I've got to put everything to the negative four power, so that's x to the negative eight, y to the negative sixteen. Now I have to combine, and if you look at those, those are going to cancel x to the zero, which is one. The y to the 12th and the y to the negative 16th adds up to y to the negative 4. So the final answer is 1 over y to the 4th. Number 12. Um, volume is length times width times height, so I've got to take the three parts of the volume and multiply them together. So that's 3a to the 2nd, 4a to the 5th, and then 4a squared b to the 2nd. 3 times 4 is 12, 12 times 4 is 48, add all the a's together, so that's 2, 7, 8, 9, and b to the second on the end. I think we just have one more page, yep, we have three more problems, one more page. This is your last three examples, number 13. Now, this is an addition sign in the middle, so I'm going to have to add these together. First of all, I have to square the negative 4, that gives me 16. 
square k, that's k squared, and then I have 16 k squared plus 1 k squared, which makes 17 k squared. Number 14. I have to cube all of this, that's negative 3z to the third plus negative 27z to the third. Then I need to add the z to the thirds together. Whoops, negative 27 plus 3 is negative 30z to the third. Last one, I've got to square everything here. So that's going to be 4x to the fourth. I have to square these, so that's going to be 2x to the fourth. Notice that the 2 is on the outside. 2x to the fourth, and 4x to the fourth is 6x to the fourth. All right, see you all tomorrow. Bye.